What do all these objects have in common? A tree, a building, a magnet, a sheep, a glass of water, and a bar of gold. What do they all have in common? Well, they're all made of atoms. All substances are made of atoms. No matter what the substance is, it's made of atoms. The definition of an atom is, it's the basic building block of all substances. The same way a brick is the basic building block of a building, an atom is the basic building block of any substance, no matter how complicated that substance may be. Here's a bar of gold. If we zoom in on the gold, we'll see it is made up of atoms, represented by these circles. This bar of gold is made up of 100% gold atoms, so it is the same atoms throughout. Let's look at a tree as another example. A tree is more complicated than a bar of gold. The tree is still made of atoms, but because there are different substances which make up the tree, there must be different atoms which make up the tree. Therefore, this particle diagram represents in a very simple way, how there are different atoms which make up this tree. So we've established now, everything is made of atoms. And there are about 100 naturally occurring atoms. Some are found as elements and some are found in compounds. For the remainder of this video, we're now going to understand the difference between what an element is and what a compound is. An element can be defined as a substance made of the same type of atoms. Iron is an element found in the periodic table. Here I'm drawing a particle diagram where the symbol of iron is Fe. And this particle diagram shows how in a sample of iron, every atom is the same. Therefore, this is an element. Copper is another metal found in the periodic table. It has a symbol of Cu, and this particle diagram shows how in a sample of copper, because every atom is the same, this is an element. Lithium is another metal in the periodic table, and its chemical symbol is Li. The particle diagram shows how it has the same type of atoms, therefore it is an element. These are the same atoms because each atom has the same number of protons. Oxygen is a non-metal found in the periodic table. It has the chemical symbol O and it's a gas at room temperature. These oxygen molecules have the same type of atoms, therefore this is an element. Chlorine is another non-metal found in the periodic table. It has a chemical symbol of Cl. Chlorine is also a gas at room temperature and because these chlorine molecules are made of the same type of atoms, this too is an element. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The definition for a compound is, it's a substance made of different atoms which are chemically combined. To understand what a compound is, let's look at how iron reacts with oxygen. Iron is an element and oxygen is also an element as they are both made of the same type of atoms. So when iron and oxygen react, they form iron oxides, which can have the chemical formula FeO. This particle diagram shows how this is a compound because they have different atoms. The red circle represents iron atoms and the blue circle represents oxygen atoms. They are different atoms because they have a different number of protons. Also on top of this, these atoms are chemically combined. So if a substance 
has different atoms which are chemically combined, it is a compound. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video here to complete the task. The answers will follow. The question is, does the image represent an element or compound? Write your answer in the space provided. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.